There are three ways to power a 12B energizer. You can use four D-cell batteries, a 6-volt battery, or a 12-volt battery. To use the 6-volt or the D batteries, you need to remove the base of the energizer, and you can use a standard screwdriver, or as I'm doing here, using a quarter, insert the quarter between the tab and the base of the energizer. Remove the base, and out comes a bracket for holding the D batteries. Insert the batteries into the base or bracket. And spring side up, insert into the energizer and replace the base. To use a six volt battery, remove the cover off the battery and insert into the energizer. The final way to power the energizer is with the base in place Attach the energizer to the support. There are two T-shaped cutouts in the bottom of the energizer to fit onto the support. Remove the plastic covers from the 12 volt battery. take your 12 volt leads, the single end connects into the base of the energizer, and the battery connection leads connect positive to positive and negative to negative. And that's how you power an energizer. Connect the fence clip to the spade that says connect to fence. Take your spade clip and slide it over the connect to fence, connect, fence connection. And for the ground connection, take your spade clip with your ground clip connect to your ground like so. There is an on off switch at the bottom of the energizer as well as a fast speed or normal speed switch. Insert the energizer into the soil Take the ground clip, connect it to the ground rod of the energizer, and connect the fence clip to your stainless steel clip on the netting, and turn on your energizer. Once the energizer is turned on, you'll see a red light flashing. This energizer will flash with every pulse over 2,000 volts, but to get an accurate reading, take a fence tester. Today I have a five light tester. Insert the ground probe and attach the, touch the fence probe to your fence. I'm flashing at 8,000 volts, so I have a well-energized fence.